or not because I can't even quit. So yeah, go figure. Where am I? What happened to me? Okay. So I think that I can end the episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to another episode. Zen are starving. Freebird horses to greatest lasagna in history. Toilet stolen from City Hall. God damn it! Why was pooping on the toilet? Someone stole my freaking toilet. <laughs> Black rights movement. I supported that. How do you feel about the black rights movement? I support it. My men are created equal and blacks are no exception. Why did you send your officer to a peaceful black relay? Received. You can't protest. Received a noise complaint. It's my job. You can't protest in your city hall. That is not an option because. Received a noise complaint. It's my job. Do you think the person at the prison posed a threat to the others? It's hard to say. Yes. Case one bad when caused that peaceful protest. In, re in recent weeks, large scale protests have rocketed freeboard. First feminist. First feminist march in Bizarre and today the black gathered outside the wall. What do you think is the reason that there is such a rise in civic activism in the city? The new generation. Today's youth don't want to wait for free months concept to get leadership to catch up and they want to make things happen right now. Mr. Boyd, are you are any of your friends black? Yes. This man, one of them is a federal agent. Drunk student falls from fifth floor window injured. This fall records when rainfall and free accident at the reservoir water runs out. For two days? What was that? Aren't we living at the freaking stripes? I know. I know. Won't put anyone. Cutscene. Been a while. Been a you big know when a police chief really feels his power? When he hires and fires people? When he throws folks in jail? When he's bossing everyone around all morning? No, there's no power there. Just bureaucratic red tape. Like directing traffic. Not that it's all bad. No, I feel it the most when people come to me with accusations. Accusations happen outside the law. They don't need to be rational or supported by evidence. They don't petition justice in the careful words of legal formality. No, an accusation is a personal cry, full of resentment or envy, a defeated moan, or an angry howl. The accuser rarely imagines you'll share their resentment, their envy, their hatred. No, but they do imagine that your love of power is so strong that you'll leap to decide the fates of others, happy just to take someone's word for the facts. Businessmen accuse the gangsters, the gangsters blame our public figures, public figures denounce politicians, the politicians point to the businessmen. When it comes to accusation, there's only one rule. Don't aim too high. If you overestimate your own importance, then complaining can cost you your life. So choose the easier path. Exaggerate as far as you can. <laughs> and try to make your plea sound as sad and pathetic as possible. The accusation I received today sure didn't fit the normal mold. After killing Vickis Varga and routing his supporters, San further strengthened his already powerful authority. Even a month ago, anyone coming out against San would sound like a lunatic with a death wish. 
Today, it's the same thing as suicide. But the letter I'm holding in my hands directly connects Henry Sand, lieutenant of the Sand Mafia family, to the reported death of successful banker John Pazzi. Henry has a daughter, Marianne, a dancer, and apparently it all started with her. One day, Marianne danced in the title role of a production of Giselle, and Henry, proud father that he is, brought the whole family to the premiere, along with some of the family's business partners. Among their guests was the young banker John Pozzi. He couldn't keep his eyes off Marianne, but she ended up brushing him off. In response, Pozzi ambushed her one night after rehearsal, pulled her into his limousine and had his way with the poor girl. After that, gentleman that he was, he drove the girl home and threatened that if she told anyone what happened, her mother would get the same treatment. But her father still managed to shake the truth out of Marianne and he decided to take his revenge. Of course, Henry knew he couldn't just go with his instincts and put a bullet in Potsy in broad daylight. The rich bastard was too important for business, and Henry is neck deep in the family business, overseeing transportations for the San Mafia. He knew about every delivery delay, every car, and every shop. It was mostly thanks to Henry that the whole sand operation rolls so smoothly. Henry has free access to all their off-book cars, and a tar-black motive. Yeah, he could easily arrange the death of John Pozzi as a drunken, late-night hit-and-run. But Henry Sand is smarter than that. If this story about Pozzi is true, he'd more likely go to the boss and ask permission. I'd have figured this letter the ramblings of a retired gangster looking to spice up his life with little excitement. The way the letter started, my dear little old cop cake, I had every mind to toss it in the trash. But something else got my attention. They're rarely ever signed, but this one ended Robespierre, and I doubt it's an imposter. No one would go against the most powerful group in the city, hoping to hide behind the name of some prankster clown. Like everyone else, I had no idea who Robespierre was or what he wanted. But there was no doubt that this guy was more than a little crazy. An arrogant psychopath. Could be dangerous. Definitely worth looking into. So I have to take down Robespierre. Okay. <laughs> no, so I have to take down him. God dang. Mafia, you're shit. Share with guys. Yeah. Take a few seconds for this guy. Where's the military honors? God dang it. <laughs> of course, fucking robbery. Straight up. Two, three. Slot. And three good guys. One, two, three. Let's see, labor market. Horse. Look at this thing. Feminist protest. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Uh, oh! He turned around. I don't have an unidentified vehicle struck and killed a young banker, John Patsy, that, that fled to the scene. Or see. Oh, you actually need to get that first. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think this is the last uh, episode I'm recording today. I recorded it like one month in two episodes. And I only uploaded one at this time. The bank is located in the city center. Where there's a lot of traffic and sneak up the front window pick exit to advance of prosecution, sneak up the top five position at the main exit. Block the exit to the bank to the police cruiser take up. Woman's a woman's shot can be heard from inside the 
Wait until the robbers exit the kids. Put attention, we are still storm the building. Good job. So this isn't that big. Anyway, I want you detectives. Put mole there. Okay. Let's see how you're going to do that. Because oh, trade unions building. I have no people left. Thanks. Oh my fudging god. Another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I oh, know, I really hope. Yeah, you're a medium. Oh, it sucks. Good job. So fruitless. Theater of drama. God darn it. <laughs> Come back and I'll send you. At least you're pretty good people. What is up with. Two huge attacks. One day huge. Yeah. I know. You are very good. You should be like four people. So this is four. I refuse. Good job. Come home now. What is requesting backup? Requesting backup. Three seconds later. We did it, boss. We did it. <laughs> Bye. Car came in from a girl who went with her friends to have a barbecue out by the sun. Why did I read this? I'm. I'm tired. Good. One, two, three. Send that thing. Send him. Send her. And I'll have four people. Ah! <sighs> Thank you. You goddamn piece of crap. I refuse. What the fuck can I actually do? I don't have. Uh, of course, and it's going to be tomorrow. Unless he's going to be angry. Labor market. I'll go for a uh, SWAT upgrade, effectiveness, and. Because two days with SWAT. Come on. This is actually getting like uh, I don't want to say repetitive, but uh, like grind your people and see what happens with them. Oh my fucking god! Please come back. Until then, you should come back. Search even late at night finding the right place wasn't easy on the coincidence. Search the woods. Try to see who's the who's in there. We are in our room. Order our civilians to return to their rooms and lock their doors. Open up police. Yeah, thanks. Come home and I'll send everybody there. Because I've got no SWAT. I send everybody. That's five. Yeah, everybody. Everybody, do. <laughs> Hit and run. Okay, close. Homicide. Are you kidding me? So, these are all the freaking. Okay, I'll take a look at these things. 
be right back. I don't actually know how to resolve that thing, but I'm not, I actually have all my things on this game. And let's see how it goes. I don't know. Let's go. All the freaking police is after one freaking chase. God dang it, I forgot that I put my microphone up. Hope you can hear me from when I was speaking there. Another cut. Oh, Jack, you always come back so late. What's wrong? Bad news? Good news, Jack. Laura is ready. Ready how? She's coming back? When? Not that fast, Jack. Laura's ready to talk. But if she's ready to talk, she's getting ready to come back. You just need to find the right words. You can find I'll the come right back. words, right, Jack? I'm not an idiot. I didn't ask for this, Jack. It's the middle of the night, and I'm alone on an old farm, 40 minutes away from anywhere, sat on a creaky porch, and now I'm getting snapped at. I came here so you could personally promise me that you'll be able to find the right words. So let's try again. You can find the right words, right, Jack? I can find the right words, Mrs. Markham. That's good to hear. Tomorrow oh. night at 3 o'clock at the Octopus Restaurant. You know it? Yeah, but it's closed at night. Oh, I've arranged for them to be open. Don't be late. But don't come too early either. Mrs. Markham? Yeah? I should probably offer you some tea or something before you go. <laughs> Do you have any tea? No. Good night, Jeb. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have tea? No. I don't have any. <laughs> this is such a beast, man. Day 30. Pioneer reports more death than birth in the stream. Red Cat rescues girl from rapist. Debbie's Cafe Church with health and safety violations. Okay! This city never sleeps. At all. It, my cats ate some cream pasta. So by day and they had their yawn at their bed now. I'd like to spend them here. Spend uh, the day with them. Can I take the day off? No. Today it's offering free and uh, made thanks to all the museums in the city. I'm a big fan of art. No. So sorry, but no. It's like quite neat. Like everyone. I really hope that I can get some more pictures on the homicide and with the other thing with the rich ass banker. Okay, City Hall SWAT upgrade race. Uh, yeah. Okay, police station. Still nothing. Okay. Two people. So I have three people that are bullshit, and they are goddamn bullshit. So I have to say. Anyway, they are going to be back very soon. Look at this. It's just around the freaking block. Where's the whole map? Good job. Awful assembly. One, two. Oh my god. Why are you at work? Proceed. 
near uh, City Hall. I don't know, I think it was a waste of money to... Uh, That guy's tired as all balls. I feel kind of bad for him. <laughs> Not really, but I kind of do. Robber, city center. Near the detective scared the mob, but guards blocked the door. He turned and fled back inside, looking for another way out. So I saw that he grabbed up and ordered the man to halt. Somebody stop that thief. The offender ran in into the skating ring, then slipped and fell on ice. As he struggled to regain his footing, he pulled a knife from his spot in his prayer to take aim at the man. Try to seize the knife. Okay, cool. This is not cool anymore. You, you, you. Of course, it started raining. What the heck? Counter fighting. I'll keep just her in case of something. I know. But anyway, I think this is the last day I'm going to do for today. Of course, I don't have any people. Please, goddamn, be back soon. Loot money. Ask Mafia to sell. I, all I would always ask Mafia to sell them because I can actually give my partner some money. One, two, three. <laughs> Uh, hate the freaking solo missions. Dura. Ah. Yo 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 yo. What the fudge? <laughs> My reaction though. Yeah, they can come back. Fuck off! How did he escape? I'm curious. God fucking dang it. Please come back. Because I need all my forces for this thing. Approximately 100 people. Somebody is knocking at the door. I wonder who it is. It's my father. Oh, uh, I sent. Okay, first you. I sent you and you. Okay, and now send all my available guys. Proceed. No, when all of my people are off. I mean, I know. Uh, no new frames found. Okay, so this should be like uh, the whole thing. Game front. I don't know. Oh my god. And um, you know what? This is one of the third things that I'm going to do for now. Ar archive. And I put detectives. Even I put uh, Bresley now. 
on this thing. We've got a situation here. The fight is in full swing and some commons are carrying off and center the fight to attempt to detain the hooligans. Oh, uh, shoot into the air in an effort to pass by the crowd, surround the park and order everyone to calm down. Surround the park. Good freaking job. I'll put this guy if he wants. Good job. Four. Four seven complete. I don't know the uh, police codes. I don't know what that means at all. And the day. Let's see. I think uh, if the new day comes. Yeah. And. Um, Need to go to that right. According to Mrs. Markham, I was supposed to spend all day thinking up the right words. But to my surprise, I did my best work when I shut my head off. <laughs> I didn't even want to think why Laura decided we'd meet at 3 o'clock in the morning and in a restaurant we'd never gone to. I didn't know what to tell her. And something tells me she's no more ready for this meeting than I am. By nightfall, I finally stopped worrying. The right words would come when they were needed. And if they don't come at all, then so be it. The right words. This is such a philosophical comment. Okay. What? Someone smacked my freaking head? I've heard said, when you're knocked out by a single blow, you don't have time to feel any pain. Well, that's a lie. It's painful as hell. <laughs> Every day I spent in that coma, the pain was unbearable. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. What? The heck? World corruption. What the heck is this? What? Huh? Day 55! 55! What? It's saved, so I'm not. Well, I think this is. A good place, a cliffhanger for the next episode, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.